don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. So, guys, Cat Williams' interview with Shannon Sharp, everybody is talking about it. I know I have spoken about it, um, you know, different segments of it. We know it has shook the entire internet. But the thing that is so interesting is that Cat Williams said 2024 is the year that everybody is exposed. He said everybody. He said this is the year. And We've heard that so many times, but let me tell you what he said. He said, Diddy was one of the first people he named. He said, listen, pretty much if Diddy can be exposed, everybody, this is the year that everybody is being exposed. And I was like, bring it on, Cap, bring it on. But with everything that's been happening with Diddy, and hey, you guys already know the lawsuits, I mean, it's been so many. I literally would have to go back in my notes. It's just been that bad for Diddy. Um, he, you know, he's been sued. Cassie sued him. He still got more lawsuits. But one of the things that Cat Williams said, honey, um, that shook the internet is he said he don't party with Diddy, honey. He said that he want to keep his behind that behind that you know, that hole in the in the back there, he said he want to keep that um, to virgin status. He said he do, does not party with Diddy. And I'm just sitting there like, what? Tell us more. Um, so he had a lot of information to drop on Diddy, which is so interestingly, you know, because everybody sits around as if they don't know anything about what goes on at these Diddy freak off parties. Um, Cat Williams stated that one thing about him is he knows everything and he has people to bring him back the information and he knows everything about everybody. Um, so I'm just sitting there listening to, you know, that interview, rewinding it. Like, what did he really just say for real? Did he really just say that? So basically said, listen, this is the year. If Diddy can be exposed, if T.D. Jakes can be exposed. Now, this is what Cat Williams said. He said, this is the year to expose it all. But again, he basically said that he's been invited to these events. And he said he turned them down because he wants to keep his behind there, that, you know, that hole in the back. He wants to keep it fresh he, he, he said he don't play around with that foolery. Um, so I don't know if you guys had the opportunity to check off that video. It's a very long video. It's a lot of information, but he is dropping the receipts. So in so many words, Cat Williams pretty much um, told us that he is aware of these parties that Diddy has. And because of the information he knows and because he knows what goes on at these parties he does not attend because he's not with it he's not with it he's not with it at which time shannon sharp said what is pretty much gonna happen to you now you exposing it you know all of this stuff you know you said you've been you know blackballed or you said you've been canceled or whatever you know the verbiage that you know shannon sharp used and he said like what do you feel like is going to happen to you now and shannon sharp was like basically telling cat williams like you know you're talking too much and cat pretty much was like listen it's nothing anybody can do to me what is for me is for me. And he just continued to talk. He continued to tell the information, um, give us an insight as to what he knew was happening. But he didn't stop there. You guys know there's been controversy sur surrounding T.D. Jakes. And he basically said, listen, everybody is being outed everybody he said if td jakes can pretty much be outed it's up for everybody so everybody is being exposed in 2024 but it was very interestingly that he mentioned both diddy 
and T.D. Jakes, considering that what people have been saying is that Diddy, or I should say T.D. Jakes, is at these Diddy parties. Like, it's been exposed. Like, we have proof. There's pictures floating around. So it's interesting that he mentioned these two together. As we know, T.D. Jakes hasn't really really said anything about being with Diddy, although those pictures are available. So we know that they have been together. We know that T.D. Jakes has attended the parties and everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, but celebrities have pretty much indicated what goes on at those parties. If we, you know, act like we don't know, well, Cassie told us, there's been other, um, you know, individuals that has come out and say, hey, this is what happens at these parties. Well, now we have another comedian that's coming out, Cat Williams, that's telling us the same thing. Cat Williams is like, I don't go to Diddy parties because, listen, I don't play around like that. And he states, T.D. Jakes, just like Diddy, this is the year of everybody is being exposed. So I just feel like that was um, an interesting conversation um, and the correlation seemed to link those two individuals again together because I'm not sure why Cat Williams thought it was smart to kind of put those two in the same sentence, Diddy and Bishop Jakes, being that Diddy is a rapper. Um, he has this extensive record, you know, has a lot of things going on. That is the direct, um, not in alignment with the church. Um, and then the fact that the Bishop T.D. Jakes has not really addressed it and now has his own allegations does not look very good. I just feel like Cat Williams was trying to make that correlation between Diddy and T.D. Jakes without actually saying it. But in fact, he did say that. He did put them two in the same sentence. And basically what he said was this was the year of exposing both of them. And because it's the year of exposing both of them, two of, you know, the biggest, um, you know, what you want to call Diddy, um, hip hop mogul. What do you want to call TD Jakes? Um, Bishop, one of the biggest bishops in the world. If they can be exposed, anybody can be exposed. But I want to know what did you guys think? I don't even know if you guys had the opportunity to check out that, um, that video is very long. And honestly, at first I couldn't watch it because I just didn't have three hours. Um, but I found myself watching it and then rewinding. Um, and I think I watched half, I'm sorry, I watched the whole video and then I wa went back and watched it, um, again, but I watched half one day and then the other half later on that day. Cause I was kind of busy, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that, um, interview specifically what he said about the Diddy situation. Then he went on to say, you know, that Diddy pretty much takes what he wants. And he said, I'm not like him. So it was, I was like, cat is just spilling all of the tea, but Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments.